Hello and welcome. What you're looking at right now is my favorite road bike in my stable, my Nashiki Maricopa. Not only is it my favorite color, obviously red, but it rides really well. In fact, the only changes I've made to it since I bought it are a set of Look Kyo Sprint clipless pedals. And if you haven't tried clipless on a road bike, you really should, believe me. The other change was the installation of a Sela San Marco Aspide carbon fiber saddle. And as much as I like that saddle, and I may have said that a few times, nothing's perfect. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the saddle and I'm going to upgrade the wheels and tires. Now initially I was going to take these Continental Ultra Sports off the Alex rims that were on my retirement bike that I built some time ago. But you know, I haven't ridden that bike for a long time and I think the fun of that bike was in the building of it less so than the riding of it. So I'm going to take the entire wheel set and transfer it to the Nishiki. Plus the Nishiki has a Claris drivetrain. Well guess what? The Alex rims have Claris hubs so there's a certain symmetry there. Now the first thing I need to do is remove the Shimano 10-speed cassette from the rear wheel. That's really not a big deal. And then I'm going to put a Shimano 8-speed with a 11 to 34 tooth range on it. And that's going to greatly expand the climbing capability from the stock uh, 11 to 25. I mean, 25 low gear. Come on! <laughs> Most of what follows is going to be pretty self-explanatory, so there will be minimal commentary involved for which I'm sure we're all grateful. <laughs> The new saddle is a Sella Italia X1 Flow. This saddle has alloy rails and a composite shell with thicker padding on it than the San Marco Aspide which it replaces.
Well, there you go. The finished product. And I gotta say, I am pretty pleased with myself at the moment. I can't wait to take this bike out for a ride and try it. And I say it that way because as I am recording this, it's been raining off and on all afternoon. And, uh, well, the humidity is like in the mid to upper 80% range. And that's just not, <laughs> not enjoyable at all. But this was a fairly easy build. And it's well within anybody's capabilities if you have some basic tools. If you're interested in upgrading your bike, I encourage you to give it a try. You know, you could just start with something small like uh, a new saddle or a new handlebar and move on up to things like the drivetrain and the wheels and tires and such. I highly, highly recommend the Park Tool and the RJ the Bike Guy YouTube channels for information on how to do these things. That's where I learned like 99% of what I do. Now, if you enjoyed this video, there's a link below left for a playlist for the Maricopa. And there's a link below right to another video that I'm pretty sure you'll like. And please give me a thumbs up. It does help the channel. And thanks for watching. Seriously, I appreciate that every time you do. Goodbye and have a great day.